peeling my last potato from my mashed potatoes with kale. And we're using about five russet potatoes because they're smooth and super creamy. All right, got that. We're gonna just dice them up. About one inch, one and a half inch cubes. Awesome. All right, so I've got a pot of cold water and I'm just gonna add all the potatoes into the pot. You wanna start with cold water when you make these potatoes and then bring everything up to a boil. If you start cooking them in boiling water, the outside cooks faster than the inside, so you don't get that creamy texture. Then we've gotta season them. Nice handful of salt. We're gonna add two cloves of garlic. Remember, potatoes are like pasta. They're a blank slate and they don't have a lot of flavor, so you add all of the flavor to them. We're just gonna leave them whole and they're just gonna flavor the potatoes as they cook. And lastly, I like to add a couple tablespoons of butter. Adds more of a silkiness to the potato. Turn on the heat and you let the potatoes boil and cook for about 20 minutes until they're nice and tender. We're gonna get started on the kale. So we're gonna start with an onion. Now I'm gonna add the onion in. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. All right, so while those start cooking, we're gonna add two more garlic cloves. And again, just give it a nice stir and start warming up and softening the onion and the garlic. Let's grab the kale. I already washed the kale. It seems like a lot, but it wilts down very much like spinach. I'm gonna show you what I like to do with the kale. The stem is pretty fibrous and tough. I wanna take the leaves off of it, and I'm only gonna use the leaves because they become nice and tender. So now we're just gonna chop up the kale. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna add the kale on top of the onion and the garlic. We're gonna add a little bit more olive oil just to make sure there's enough moisture and a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Seasoning the kale, and we're gonna add a quarter cup of chicken broth, and the chicken broth will sort of soften the kale and make it nice and tender. Awesome. And now we're gonna let this cook for about 10 to 12 minutes until it wilts down a little bit. And my potatoes boiled until they were nice and tender. I drained them, and now over low heat, I'm mashing them with a potato masher. So we're gonna add a half a cup of chicken broth. So instead of adding milk, I'm gonna add chicken broth and mascarpone cheese and Parmesan cheese. And I'm also gonna add one cup of mascarpone cheese. Give it a little bit of an Italian flair. Add half a stick of butter, room temperature butter, so that it melts really nicely in there. Now, we're also gonna add three quarters of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, so Parmigiano di Giano, right in there, for a nice salty bite. We're gonna add our sauteed kale. My mashed potatoes with kale, buttery and creamy with a dash of holiday cheer.